Shaoshu is one of the main islands. Morning comes early in the South China Sea. This tiny is home to some 200 fishermen. Most have been here for generations. 46-year-old Chen Yihu learned his father. Today, his 20-year-old son, Chen Siyu, follows his footsteps. Almost every day, they go out to sea. Life is not easy, but they're committed to their trade and have We have to travel quite a far away from the coast and to find a place where the tide is not too high for safety reasons. But he says he wants to work along his father and is proud of being a fisherman in the South China Sea. Diving gives him a special perspective. Over the past few years, he's seen the numbers and the varieties of sea snails and fish in coastal waters decline. So the fishermen have to sail further out. I had been fishing in the Zhongsha and Nansha Islands for many years before coming here to the Xisha Islands. And I decided to settle here as I found the water full of resources. We now can harvest some 20 kilograms of sea snails each day, earning some 200 yuan. Of the Xisha Islands. No soldiers fishermen have joined the militia to guard against them and have the bitter experience of being detained and having their property confiscated by Vietnamese authorities. Lay mail, as the living conditions here are still harsh. Nighttime doesn't mean the work stops. It's also the time for calculating the day's income and preparing for the next day. And the establishment of Sansha City has given them new hopes for a better life in the future. The most inconvenient thing on the island is the shortage of drinking water and vegetables, as well as daily necessities. The new Sansha municipal government has promised to improve our living conditions. We are very grateful and looking forward to all the changes. For all the fishermen in Sansha, the establishment of the city means it will be easier to earn a living around the South China Sea. They will also be better. It's the only life they've ever known. Hanbi, CCTV.